Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just this afternoon, somebody sent me this JPEG picture and wanted to know how to make it where it could be engraved. And it's a pretty cool uh, clip art, but you can see it's got a clip art because of the background. And it's uh, it's really pretty, pretty clean uh, as far as clip art goes. So... I'm going to use the process we just I just did yesterday. I'm going to go to bitmap, resample, and I'm going to turn it to 600 dots per inch. Probably doesn't need it. Then I'm going to go to trace, bitmap, outline trace, clip art. It's going to ask me to resize it because we made it bigger. And you want this checked right here, grouped objects with by color. Now, some of your versions might say merge uh, right up here, too. But also, you want group objects by color, merge adjacent objects by color. So anything really close will be merged together. We're going to press OK. And this is, I've already done this. This is extremely easy. The black has all been put together. Our image is 6.1 tall. So my nudge factor is going to be set on seven. And this is somebody just asked me this question this just a little while ago on an email off a video like this, how I got it to move. I'm going to click on the black and I'm using my down arrow key i tell you what I didn't do. I need to ungroup it in our, our, our new Trace version will be on top. Let's see if it's grouped together or not. Yep, we need to make sure it's ungrouped. Now my nudge factor is set on seven. I'm going to click on just black. And right down here, you see black has been picked. And I'm just going to hit my left, my down arrow key. Voila, it's pretty much already done. Now, what I would do, this is black. 37, I would left click your black and make it a the black of your default to make it a little bit blacker. And that still didn't look that black. There we go. You need to left click. That will engrave pretty good and look really, I mean, it's not perfect. It could be cleaned up a little bit, but depending on the size you're going to do, like right there needs to be cleaned up, maybe his foot. That's very easily done. I would left click, right click, and you're going to see some double lines. And just take your shape tool. And let's just get rid of that box and get rid of some of these nodes till that becomes a straight line. You could clean up his foot a little bit, his leg. When you're doing the double lines, you're doing both lines at once. But it doesn't have to be perfect depending on the size of your clip art. And then you need to left click, right click, and you can see how we've cleaned up the boat. But I mean, it's a boat and these edges here should probably be jagged, looking like the wood. His hat's pretty clean. So the parts that need to be cleaned are pretty clean. I would maybe clean up his feet a little bit, but it all depends. If this is real small, you're going to, basically you're wasting your time. But they're taking a color clip art and making it black and white. Now, I, I do notice one thing we have here, and that's one thing about the nudge factor that's pretty cool. We can click on his mouth, and we can hit the down arrow key. We could probably hit these two kneecap looking things. Make sure you hit just the kneecap and I just hit my down arrow key so now we've given the little river boy two kneecaps and a in a mouth but you can see it's not black so left click and you can hold down your shift key and grab both these and, and left click black so it'll engrave evenly anyway I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching